In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a free pricing table that looks like this to your music website using a free WordPress plugin. With this plugin, you can add up to five columns, adjust colors, add buttons, and much more. I also have a free PDF for you to download of 50 pricing table examples for you to get ideas on pricing, features, licensing, and more. HipHopMakers.com Hey music creators, I'm Mark V at HipHopMakers.com, a website that's dedicated to helping music creators succeed. If you're selling beats, products, or offering services online, a pricing table is a great way to display and compare pricing options. Pretty much all beat selling websites have pricing tables because it gives visitors an easy way to understand different licenses. A pricing table can help display the pros and cons of a specific license. It can also help you make more money if you can properly highlight the top features of why someone should pay more for a more expensive license. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm going to share some pricing table stats that you may find helpful. I visited 50 different B-selling websites and took notes on some things that stood out to me. So stay to the end of the video so you can see the data and get that free download. To follow along with the tutorial, you will need a WordPress website. If you don't have a WordPress website, I have a free video course on how to create a B-selling website using WordPress. This course includes 10 tips to help you sell your first beat. You can find the link in the description below. In this video, I will be using the Music Maker WordPress theme, which is a WordPress theme that I created for music creators to sell beats, products, and promote music online. You can find a link in the description, but you can follow these steps for any WordPress website. So let's get started. You should log into your WordPress website. From the WordPress dashboard, roll over plugins and click add new. In the input on the top right, enter responsive pricing table and click enter on your keyboard. Look for the plugin by WP Darko and click install now. Then click activate. I want to point out that there are hundreds of other free and paid pricing table plugins that offer different features. I'm sharing one that I have experience with and one that is free. So if you're looking for something that is more advanced, please try searching Google. On the sidebar, click pricing tables. Here is where you will be able to see all the different pricing tables you create. To create a new pricing table, click add new at the top of the page. Enter a title for your pricing table. I will name mine B pricing table. By default, there are no license options. So click the added pricing plan button. What you see here will be one of the pricing columns. In the title input, I'm going to enter in lease. Where you see price, I'm going to enter in $25. Do not include the currency symbol. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click add a pricing plan button again. In the title, I'm going to enter in premium. And for the price, I'm going to enter in $69.99. I'm going to scroll down and click add a pricing plan button again. And this one will be exclusive. And for the price, I'm going to enter in 500. These are just example prices and example license names. You can enter in whatever you want. I'm going to scroll up in the settings input where you see currency, enter in your currency symbol. I'm going to enter in the dollar sign. So let's preview our table. I'm going to click the instant preview button. So you can see we have three different columns with three different license options. I think the price looks too big by default, so let's change it. I'm going to close the preview window. Under settings, click show hide text settings. Where you see price, I'm going to change it to small. I'm going to click instant preview again, and I think that's looking better. So now let's add our list of features. I'm going to close the preview window. I have some sample text in the description or below this video that you can copy and paste to follow along. This is just sample text. You should edit the text to meet your needs. So I'm going to copy one line of text and click the add features button and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to copy another line of text and click add features and paste in the text. So I'm going to just do this for the least beat and it's pretty easy to do. I'm just copying and pasting it. And so I've added one, two, three, four, five and let's, and let's check out a preview. So you can see that the features have been listed here. So I'm going to scroll down and add the features to premium. I'm going to copy a line of text and click the add feature button. So I'm going to jump ahead and add all the features I have in the sample text. So I've added all the sample text. Let's preview the pricing table. So here you can see all the text has been added. So let me show you how to tweak some settings. I'm going to close the preview window. Before we move further, please take a minute to save your work. I'm going to click the save draft button. So let's say that we want to highlight one of the licenses with the icon. I'm going to scroll down to premium because let's say that that's our most popular license. 
where you see highlight plan, I'm going to select enabled. I'm gonna scroll up and click instant preview. You can see that little icon is added right here. And it looks like me enabling the icon made these sections green, but I'm gonna show you how to tweak those colors. So the bottom area that you see here can be used as nothing. You can just have it as a color to match your website or you can make them call to action buttons. So let me show you how to make it into a button. I'm gonna close the preview. I'm gonna scroll down to lease. And let's say that you wanna to link to a page where people can learn more about your terms and conditions. I'm gonna enter and learn more. And then you would enter in the page URL. I'm gonna scroll up and click preview. And you can see that it's now a button that says learn more. I'm gonna close the preview and let's say you wanna change the color of that button. I'm gonna click instant preview. And you can see it's updated. And let's say I just don't wanna use the button at all. So I'm gonna close the preview window. I'm gonna empty the text. And let's just say I want it to be a, a dark gray. I'm gonna copy the color code. I'm gonna scroll down to premium. I'm gonna update the color. Update exclusive as well. And click instant preview. And you can see that the colors have been updated. So let's say our pricing table is done. I'm gonna close the preview. On the right, I'm gonna click publish. On the right, you wanna look for the short code. I'm gonna copy this short code right here. So first I'm gonna show you how to easily add the code to the Music Maker WordPress theme. I'm gonna roll over appearance and click customize. I'm gonna scroll down to where you see licensing and pricing. I'm gonna click the pencil icon. In the short code input, I'm going to paste the short code. And you can see that the pricing table appears under the beat store. I'm going to click publish and close it. Now let's say that we want to add the pricing code to a page on your website. I'm going to roll over pages and click add new. I'm going to name the page license options. In the content area, I'm going to paste the short code. And let's say that you want to add some text above the pricing table to expand the page. I'm going to paste in some sample text. On the right side of the page, I'm going to click full width and I'm going to click publish. I'm going to click the link that says view page. And here you can see how the pricing table will look on your website. You can add more columns if needed. So let's say that you want to edit the pricing table. What you would do is go to the WordPress admin page, click pricing tables on the sidebar, click into the pricing table that you want to edit, and then you would edit the information that you want. If you make any changes, you want to click the update button to make the changes live. So that's how you can add a pricing table to your website for free. So if you check the description below, you can find the download link to download the free PDF file. So I checked over 50 B selling websites in Google and here are three interesting stats that I found. Number of licenses. On the topic of licenses, 42% had four license options. So if you checked out their website, they had a pricing table that had four different columns and offered four different licenses. The next top number was three license options at 32% and 18% had five license options. So having four license options seems to be the most common practice. Starting price. Next, I was curious, what is the basic starting price on these websites? A standard license usually includes an MP3 file and can be leased multiple times. So these numbers look a little funny because of the price range because if a beat had 99 cents at the end, I rounded it up. For example, if a beat was $29.99, I rounded it up to $30. So here are the numbers. Out of the websites that I visited, 43% of the standard licenses cost $19 to $27. The most common exact number was $25 for a standard license. The second most popular price range was $29 to $39 at 34%. 11% of the standard licenses were $50 or more, but overall, the most common standard license was $19 to $27. Track out or stems. Next, I was curious, what is the most common price for tracked out beats? The most common price for tracked out beats was $100 at 37%. This was not exclusive rights, this was a premium license. So that's some interesting information I found. I'm not telling you how to price your beats, I'm just sharing information. I think it's always important to experiment and test out different ideas to see what works and what doesn't. So I have some questions for you. What do you think about those stats? What are you selling the standard license for? How much do you charge for tracked out beats? Let me know in the comment section below. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Once again, you can find the free PDF to download in the description below. Thanks for watching.